Good morning guys. Today is Monday. It's a new week and I'm really tired. <laughs> um, also, I was really bad over the weekend. I did not eat healthy this weekend at all. It's like each day started okay. And this is including Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I was bad with my eating all three days. I think I'm just, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm getting back on track and gonna definitely eat healthy all this week and get back into that because my husband and I both, we did not have a good weekend healthy eating wise. So I'm gonna work extra hard at the gym this week. But anyway, I'm gonna get my lunch and my stuff together and get headed out the door, get this week going and I guess I'll talk to you again soon. So it's lunchtime, and I'm just walking around the building to try to just get outside and get some fresh air. And it's an absolutely beautiful day, but I feel like I'm kind of numb to it. Like I'm not getting joy out of it. work day is done I don't know why the camera on this phone looks fu fuzzy sometimes um, so had a rough day today missing Nathan I don't know some days are definitely better than others I think it was because this morning, whenever my alarm went off and I went to get up, it was one of those like muscle memory things I was talking about last week where for just a, just a fraction of a second, I felt him stand up like he used to do. And because we would get up together, Nathan and I. And so. I think that it started with that this morning. Um, and also I wanted to share with you guys, there's gonna be another life change. Um, I've talked just a little bit. I don't talk about my kids a whole lot in my vlogs. Um, but recently I had been complaining about my oldest who is 23, will be 24 in November, how they weren't motivated, weren't getting a job, you know, all of that. Well, they are going to be moving out in July and like, they're leaving on July 20th and they're moving to Yuma, Arizona. which I have very mixed emotions about. On the one hand, I'm really happy for them because this starts a chapter in their life where they're gonna be with their significant other. He's moving there um, to be with his girlfriend. And the plan is he'll get a job when he's there they will temporarily live with her dad. That's where she lives right now. And then after he gets a job, they save a little bit of money, then they're gonna get their own apartment. The long-term plan is supposedly they're gonna come back towards Missouri. If not, if not back to Missouri, at least closer. Uh, maybe Colorado, somewhere like that. I don't know, all that's probably pretty far in the future, but so while part of me is happy about 
you know, that. And I have said before I was ready for my 23-year-old to move out of the house. I'm not ready for them to move all the way to Arizona. I'm just not. But it is what it is. They're a grown-up. You know, nowadays there's lots of ways to communicate and keep in touch. But it's just going to be a hard adjustment, you know? So, yeah. I don't know. So I've been kind of battling with emotions from that, too. And I know when it gets closer to that time, it's really going to get harder. Um, I mean, I was trying yesterday to be upbeat about it, because yesterday is when we found the date out. And just thinking about things like, um, you know, now we can actually have an office. Um, one less bedroom, you know, we can set it up as an office. I think probably maybe get a futon in there or something for um, when we get visitors. Um, which isn't that often. Hopefully, <laughs> my oldest will come and visit if they're able. I mean, um, and my mom visits sometimes, but so yeah. But it's just, it's just been a really big adjustment, you know, with Nathan being gone, and then it's going to be another really big adjustment with Adam being gone, and a lot to take in at once but I will get through it like I've gotten through every other thing in my life and I always think about you know there's people that have it a, a lot you know have a lot worse struggle than I do so I am grateful for the blessings that I do have but I just really I want to be happy again and right now I'm not feeling happy and I'm hoping that, see, we've got our summer vacation coming up in July, coming up pretty quick. And you guys know how much I look forward to that every year. That's like my happy place. And, and I just love it so much and I get so excited and everything. And I'm just not feeling excited at all this year. And I want to, I want to be excited. And so I'm hoping the closer it gets, you know, and after some more days pass that maybe I will start feeling more upbeat. I just feel kind of numb right now. I don't know how to explain it. It's like if I'm not sad, I'm numb. Over the last couple of weeks, I'm very rarely happy. Um, there's things that make me laugh. Um, like we were watching that show, it's a new uh, extreme mini golf called Holy Moly. It's a show that Steph Curry has put out on ABC. We had recorded it and watched it. It was really funny. It was good. So, you know, I laugh and stuff, but it's like kind of in the moment things. And I just want to be happy and excited again. And I know it's just been a a little bit of time and I'm still grieving so but yeah for today was just a, a hard day all day I thought I had gotten past those like days where I just felt like all I wanted to do was crawl in bed and stay there all day long but I guess not but hopefully tomorrow will be a better day. I'm on my way home now. We're going to go to the gym. Um, I usually do feel a little bit better after a workout. So just do that and talk to you guys again soon. Hey guys, so I just got back from the gym and I got a card in the mail. This one's from Michelle Cunningham. You've probably seen her comment on my videos before, um, and Michelle, this one brought tears to my eyes and my husband's. It's not easy to do that with my husband. 
Um, it's a beautiful card. And it says, you are one of my nicest thoughts. And then on the inside, she wrote, Angie, Brian, and boys, thinking of you all during tough times. Sorry for the penmanship. I suffer from a form of MS and have little use of my hands. <clears throat> See, that's the part that um, got both of us, that you still took the time to write out that whole card for us. That means a lot. Thank you. Especially, you know, with today has just been, it's just been a bad, depressing day. But this just brightened my whole day. So thank you very much. <clears throat> and she said a little bit more. So, um, so yeah, so now I'm going to go shower and then we're going to have Panera for dinner and just, uh, chill out for the night and get up and have another day of work and hope for a better day tomorrow. But talk to you guys again soon. Good morning guys. Today is Tuesday and just getting ready to do my normal morning routine and I will talk to you again soon. Hey guys, today is Wednesday and I'm just getting ready to do my normal morning routine but I wanted to tell you guys about this bird my youngest son told me about yesterday and then I was watching videos on YouTube of it and it just really cheered me up last night but it's called a lyre bird but it's spelled L Y R E bird it's a real bird and it can mimic anything and so there's videos of the little thing sounding like a chainsaw construction um, a laser gun is just the sweetest thing. It's so cool how it does that, but that's how it impresses the female bird. That's the coffee pot. You probably already know, but there was like a BBC video on YouTube where they were showing one and he was like just singing different, like a kookaburra, you know, different bird sounds. And then all of a sudden he started sounding like a chainsaw, a car alarm. It was just so cute and it just really cheered me up a lot just seeing that little bird. So I just wanted to share it with you guys too. But again, it's called a lyre bird, L-Y-R-E bird, lyre bird. Um, it's just really cool, it's from Australia. So anyway, that's it for now, but I will talk to you again soon. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday evening. Um, Brian just left. I'm getting ready to set the coffee pot up. For tomorrow, I don't know if you can still see me. Um, we made dinner, and now, like I said, I'm just setting the coffee pot up, and um, just got done washing my face, picking out my clothes for tomorrow and stuff, and uh, I was feeling kind of lonely. So, <laughs> I figured I'd talk to you just while I set up the coffee pot. Um, it's the third Wednesday without Nathan. Yesterday was the second week, or you know, oh, two weeks since um, we said goodbye. This is the coffee pot. <laughs> You know, the first Wednesday was the day after we said goodbye, and then last Wednesday and now this Wednesday. It's my third Wednesday without my little buddy to watch my ghosty shows with, and it's, it's not really getting easier. I think I'm... I think I'm just getting used to not having him. Part of me is getting used to it. Coffee. Um, Cause last Wednesday I cried and cried and cried. This Wednesday, I'm on the verge, but I can hold it back. And 
<clears throat> I've been trying more and more to think of happy times. I kept focusing on the last days and the last day. And so now I'm starting to be better able to focus on the funny things that Nathan would do and stuff like that. So I think that's a good sign. Coffee pot set up. So it's only 540 right now, so I think I'm probably gonna maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos, walk around, like pace like I do sometimes, since Wednesday's not normally a gym night, and I didn't really feel like going up there and walking on the treadmill, but I wanna get a few more steps in, so I think I'm gonna do that, and then um, maybe watch a ghosty show or two. But yeah, it's starting to get really hot now, so, and Friday's not supposed to rain, so I think Brian and I can do our Oceans of Fun thing after work and then stay for the movie. Um, we've really been wanting to do that, and I think that's our last opportunity. So, but yeah, I guess that's it. Kind of, I just was feeling myself start to go down a sad path, so I thought, let me talk to my friends for a few minutes and that'll help me feel better and it did so that's it for now we'll talk to you again soon good morning guys today is Thursday so it's the last day I'll be driving down to the building for the week and I'm wearing a dress today <laughs> um, it's getting really pretty hot out and so been last two days I think went sleeveless because I like to go outside and walk for my lunch just to kind of get outside and get some fresh air if I can. I think it was last week. It was like a few days I didn't even get a lunch, but so now I'm just getting ready to do my normal morning routine. You know, I wish I could have I don't want to I don't want I don't know how to I miss Nathan so much. I want him back, but I know it's never happening. But every single morning, the first thought in my mind is Nathan. And I want to stop feeling so much pain every day. It's like, it's not that I don't want to think about him ever, but I wish my mind would let me think about some other things. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's, I don't know. But anyway, happened again as usual this morning, but I'm hoping that as the day goes by yesterday, the day actually started getting a lot better um, with my thoughts and everything and my feelings of depression and loss and all that. And then like later in the evening, it started coming back again. So I don't know, um, it's only been a couple of weeks so I know I just need time but anyway and I know I'm probably so depressing to you guys but anyway I need to get all my stuff together and I will talk to you guys again soon hey guys so it's lunch time and I'm walking in the parking lot it's really hot today it's like in the upper 90s so, a few days ago, my husband told me I need to stop talking about Nathan. I think he thinks he's helping me, but I think he, I don't know, I think maybe it'd help him. So I've just been like bottling things up when I'm thinking of Nathan and stuff because I think of him constantly and it was helping me to talk about him, you know, like 
tell stories about him or think of things that reminded me of him and stuff like that. And so then when my husband told me not to talk about him anymore, now I'm just holding it all in. And I, I don't know, you guys might be feeling the same way too. Trust me, I wish I didn't think about him so much. I keep all consumed with grief still, still. I just miss him so much. I don't know if I'm being abnormal or if this is normal. I've never been as close to a pet. And I've had a lot of different pets. I've had cats. We had a dog before Nathan. But it was more like standoffish to the kids and stuff. And I was we got we had that dog before we had kids and then when the kids were born he was older but he was he never liked people that much just Brian and I where Nathan loved everybody so I wasn't as close to that dog and I was close to my cats but but not I don't know there was just something about Nathan so, but anyway, <sighs> I don't know if, how good you can hear from the wind and stuff because it's luckily breezy because it's really hot. So, but anyway, I just kind of wanted to say that because you guys, if you don't want me to, if you don't want to listen to me talk about Nathan, you can just fast forward or, you know, move on. But anyway, as usual, he's on my mind. So I was talking about him. So that's it. Hey guys, so the work day is done. And now I'm getting ready to head home. And I think I'm going to stop at the P.O. Well, I know I'm going to stop at the P.O. box on the way home because it's Thursday. And I stop and check it on Thursdays. And so I'm going to do that. And then we'll be going to the gym. And I don't know what else. I mean, there's no plans for tonight or anything. Tomorrow, we have plans. I think I told you guys already. I'm pretty sure I did. That we're going to go to Oceans of Fun. So hopefully that'll be fun and I'm thinking when we go on vacation in a couple of weeks that that will help me with my depression too because I'm thinking just to kind of get out of the normal routine you know everything that Nathan was such a huge part of if I get out of the normal routine for an entire week because we'll be gone for an entire week that that will help me cope better with the loss of Nathan now here <laughs> is what I don't know <sighs> okay so I'm gonna be on vacation for two weeks seven days of it we're gonna be in the Ozarks the other week I'll be at home probably working on helping my oldest who's going to be moving to Arizona on the 20th of July so it's like I know I'm going to be depressed about that too I just know it I mean I know it's time you know my child's 23, they'll be 24 in November. It's time for them to move from home. It's a normal thing that kids do. It's just, I think it's gonna be hard on mom. I, I have such mixed feelings about it. I'm ready for them to move on. You know, I'm ready for them to 
start the next chapter of their life, all that stuff. And, and I wouldn't have a single problem. I don't think I would be sad at all if they were just moving a little bit away. But they're moving a lot away. And I'm going to be worried. And I'm going to miss them. So, guys, I just don't know. Am I being a big baby? I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of good to it, you know. I'm going to save a hell of a lot of money, I know that, because, um, buy everything, you know, all the groceries. My husband's going to save money, you know, because we buy the groceries. My husband pays the car insurance, and they're not taking their car. We're probably going to sell their car, so, you know, we'll just, we'll just see. Their car's kind of a piece of junk, honestly. Um, so, I don't know all that all that is stuff to I need to I don't know what I'm trying to say I'm thinking I need to not focus on the fact that they're going to be leaving on the 20th and focus more on the on spending time with them which is actually hard to do because of the hours they keep you know I can go this person my son lives in my house but I can go a couple of days without seeing them because they stay up all night, sleep all day, that kind of thing. So, I don't know. I've seen them a little bit the last couple of days, but, so it's not like I'm already don't see them very often, but just knowing they're safe, you know what I mean? And then when they're, they, I don't know. I'm rambling. I think I'm trying to mentally prepare myself. But I, but then I've been trying to look at the positives too. Like my husband and I will have an office space now. And so I'm trying to think about I'll have a room that we can that that actually doesn't really need anything done to it. It's the only room in our house that has carpet in it, but the carpet is relatively new. It's not super new, but it's new enough where eventually we do want to take the carpet out and we want to put in like a laminate floor, but it's new enough where we can wait for a while on that. The, the paint is good. The color is good. Um, so we can turn it into an office and I also want to put like a futon in there so it'll be like a guest area. And um, so yeah. So you know I, I got on Nebraska Furniture Mart's website and I was looking at, because we have a Nebraska Furniture Mart in Kansas that we've actually bought quite a bit of stuff at. Um, but. So I was looking at desks, I was looking at futons, you know, I'm trying to think of stuff like that. I'm thinking about, you know, I could maybe put a little bit of a craft area in there. I'm not going to have a whole craft room, um, but do a combo uh, office, guest space, craft area. You know, I'm just thinking, because it's not a huge bedroom. I'll show it to you guys when the time comes, you know, I'll share when we're updating it and everything. So. So I'm thinking about that, and then I'm also trying to, I'm trying so hard to look forward to vacation. This is the first time, literally the only part about vacation I'm looking forward to is not having to work. And that makes me sad. But I'm thinking next week, it's 4th of July week. We always have fun with 4th of July, you know, we'll set off fireworks, um, sometimes we'll go see a display. There's actually been years we've gone to Worlds of Fun, I don't think we'll do that this year, but um, we'll barbecue more during the week. You know, work is usually a little bit lighter, 
it's not been that light lately because there's the states are passing legislation left and right that I'm dealing with um, so I'm thinking my spirits maybe will start to go up you know part of that of the fourth you know Nathan was never afraid of fireworks he was so, such a unique dog I mean I was I was more concerned like if we had him outside if we were like watching a fireworks display like a nice display I was okay with with it not worrying about his hearing because it wasn't that loud but if we were setting off some things um, I wouldn't have him outside because I was more worried about his hearing but he'd sit at the door at the front door where we have the um, the glass screen and watch he wasn't afraid of it at all and so you know part of me would be thinking oh you know Nathan's not here but that's just the way it's gonna be and I feel like I just need to get a grip and it's like I'll have a day where I feel like I can breathe and come to terms with be happy that you had the years you had with him and reflect on the, the happy and the fun but then it goes back to just missing him day is going to come where it's not going to hurt so bad. <laughs> it has to, right? Because I also, I honestly do worry about my health, too. Um, you know, stress has a big impact on my heart health, and so I do worry about that. I have been having chest pains, and I don't want to have a heart attack. Although, although if it's true, I please I hope it's true that they're that you really do get reunited with your pets. You know, I just don't you know, you just don't know. If something did happen, maybe I'd see Nathan again. Not that I want anything to happen, trust me, I don't. I'm just trying to be funny. It's not funny. But I don't know. I also want to get new living room furniture. There's a lot of Nathan memories there, too, because, you know, we never told him he couldn't be on the furniture. You guys know, you know, nine times out of ten, if I'm sitting somewhere, he's sitting right next to me. So all the pictures and everything have the living room furniture in it. But we've had the furniture for so long. And before he passed away, I was talking about getting new furniture. What we have now is leather, and I was thinking about switching over to, like, microfiber because it's easy to clean. Um, so I don't know I'm just trying to think of things like that eventually also my husband and I have talked just a little bit and also I don't when I was talking to you when I was taking my walk at lunch he didn't Brian didn't tell me in a mean way to stop talking about Nathan I think he was trying to give me advice that if to him if I stopped talking talking about it so much then maybe I could get over it you know what I mean I don't know he I think you know people grieve differently but I don't want you guys to think he was being mean he didn't say it in a mean way he didn't it still hurt my feelings but he that was not his intention I know my husband I know that wasn't his intention anyway I had something else I was gonna say and then I forgot I just totally forgot but I'm thinking next week's gonna be a better week and then the week after that will be vacation so so it's gonna be it's gonna get better I just know it is. It's definitely going to get better. Oh, I know. We were talking about... We have different opinions on a 
another pet. Neither one of us is ready for anything in the very immediate future. I would kind of like to get a kitten. You know, some and something that I can love and take care of and that will love me back, but that I won't feel like I'm replacing Nathan. My husband wants, he actually wants to get a puppy and a kitten. <laughs> he wants to get a two so they can be companionship for one another, which I think would be really fun also a ton of work so I don't know um, when we got Nathan he was five months old when we when we actually when we got Nathan we still had our other dog he was very old and he did not like Nathan he didn't like anything anybody even when he was really young he only liked Brian and I he would bite my kids and stuff he would I just he was a he I don't know by the time he passed away. I I was sad that day, but that was pretty much it. I was kind of, you know, we gave him a good life. I think my husband was more sad than me with Twinkie, that was that dog's name, where I was getting to the point where I was tired of this dog <laughs> treating my kids bad. Like, my kids never hurt that dog ever, but like I said, he never liked kids or, or anybody really, except my husband and I. And he passed away just in his bed, very peacefully in his sleep. Um, but he was at, he, he actually helped Nathan with potty training because Nathan did whatever Twinkie did. So that was kind of a help because Twinkie was potty trained and everything. And I don't want to sound like m mean or anything. I just didn't, I, w I just wasn't as attached to Twinkie because he wouldn't have anything to do with my kids. I, I don't know, that's, and we, because we had him before we had kids and he never liked kids, ever. No kids. I, I don't know if that was just part of his makeup because he was a Shih Tzu too, but he was a miniature one and we had gotten him from my mom. She had adopted a, a dog that was from a puppy mill that had a horrible, horrible life. And she was pregnant when my mom got her and she had two puppies. I got one and my aunt and uncle got one. And um, so we raised him from a little tiny puppy. He was never treated bad by children ever or by anybody ever, but he still just, even though we tried to expose him to like nieces and nephews and friends' kids and stuff, he just never, and he would bite them. I mean, he'd bite them if they tried to pet him and stuff. Whereas Nathan was just the most loving dog. I mean, he didn't, he, Nathan never met a stranger. He'd bark at the UPS guy, but if the door got opened, <laughs> He was poking his little head out, wagging that tail, you know. He just, he loved everybody. So it's hard not to love him back, you know what I mean? <sighs> so, I've just rambled and rambled and rambled. It's going to be another freaking long vlog. Um, maybe I'll just shut up <laughs> and not be as talkative the rest of the week. So that this one won't be a super long one again. But anyway, I'm going to shut up for now, and I will talk to you again soon. Okay, so I just got home from work, and my friend Pam, she's on YouTube as Pam DeLions. Like Pam and D-E, like Dandelions, but Pam DeLions. And she told me ahead of time she sent me something, so I'm getting ready to open it up. She told me because she said that they didn't put like a card or anything in it that they didn't do that anymore or something so I'm gonna open it up and see what it is except I'm challenged here I can't seem to get this tape to come off well Pam they wrapped it good <laughs> 
don't know what it is, so I'm trying to be careful. on something other than YouTube. <laughs> hey guys, it is actually Friday night. We worked, or I worked all day, then we went out to Oceans of Fun, and we didn't stay for the movie. We stayed for a little bit, we saw them like blow the screen up and stuff, but there were so many little kids, and they weren't the problem, it was the freaking water. It was so cold, I was freezing. And it's like, it got up to 101 today, so you would have thought, but the, the, but the evening cooled down and the water was so cold, it was just way too uncomfortable. So now we're gonna be bad, and Brian went to Taco Bell, so we're gonna stay up and find something to watch, and we're gonna each have a couple of tacos, which actually isn't too bad. There's not that many calories in there. And then tomorrow, um, our city's doing like their little 4th of July celebration from 7.30 p.m. until 10. They're doing like food trucks and music and stuff like that. And then they're going to have fireworks, I think, from 9.30 to 10. So we're going to go to that. So, And then tomorrow during the day, I don't know what's, what's going on. But anyway, that is the way today was. So... It was a pretty good day, guys. It was, a, it was a pretty good day. But I'll talk to you again soon. Hey guys, today is Saturday and I'm still feeling pretty good. So I think I finally made a turning point, especially based on how the beginning of the week started was not good. Um, so I'm still feeling better. But anyway, I just got done getting ready for the day. I'm, since we're going to a fireworks display later, I'm doing like, I'm 4th of July, I'm ready for the 4th of July. This shirt has stripes on the front and it's got stars on the back. And, but anyway, right now, Brian went to wash his truck. I'm waiting or, and he'll be home. We'll be waiting for his mom. She's bringing some luggage for the oldest. So, um, Brian's aunt has a like a brand new set of luggage that's never been used and so she offered to give it to the oldest so we don't have to buy luggage so that's really great so we're waiting for her to drop that off um, and then um, I don't know exactly what's gonna go on during the day I think Brian might have his own things and then I'm I kind of want to go to Kohl's because they had this pair of tennis shoes there that I was eyeballing they're just outside of what I would normally spend for tennis shoes but you know since we go to the gym several days a week it's almost like an investment <laughs> I don't know I'm still trying to make up my mind they sent me a $15 it's really funny because I had not gone shopping at Kohl's for quite a while and so I think it crossed in the mail or not crossed in the mail but they were sending it in the mail while I went finally actually shopping at Kohl's and so I had gone shopping but then I got a thing in the mail we miss you you haven't been here for a while here's 15 bucks so it's like now since I don't have to buy luggage and I got $15 do I want to get those tennis shoes I don't know they're not they were 90 bucks and that's just like I don't know that's I don't know I'm having a hard time with that. Maybe I'll just watch them to see if they go on sale. I don't know. But anyway, and then so and then I thought about going and buying some travel size toiletries since vacations coming up. Um so I don't know. 
I don't really know what's going to be on the agenda for today other than I know later this evening we're going to the park area for watching the fireworks but anyway that's what's going on right now <laughs> and I will talk to you guys again soon hey guys so it's like almost six o'clock in the evening now the day went just a little bit different <laughs> than what I expected it to but it's still been a good day it is like super super hot outside though we're trying to decide if we want to go see fireworks after all we might just kind of try to drive over towards that way when it gets closer to 9 30 tonight when they're going to set them off and just sit in the air conditioning because it's way hot it's like in a hundred and some degrees so but so this morning after brian's mom got here and dropped off the luggage they stayed for a while so we were just sitting and talking and stuff and so then they left we went to ihop which was really good i had blueberry pancakes they were so yummy and then um, we went to menards for bird seed because we needed some more bird seed for the birds and then we went to sam's and got some different groceries and stuff then we came home got all that unpacked and then i ended up going up to kohl's i did not end up getting the pink shoes the pink nikes I tried them on and I actually was gonna get them and then I walked back over that way and I saw the same exact shoe but a different color scheme so I got these instead so they're like this on this side and then on this side they look like this but I liked them and there's the soles because you could see the detail a lot better on these than you could the pink ones so these are the most expensive tennis shoes I've ever bought in my life. $90. I still, still don't know about that, you know, but they're super, super comfortable. And I will have these for a long time. And so these will be my new gym shoes. So, yeah, I feel like mm, I'm a high roller. <laughs> but um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week because, um, the only other thing is we might go see fireworks. You guys know what fireworks look like. Plus, they never show up on video good. Like, when I try to record them, they don't show up good. I don't want to watch them. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm still feeling pretty good, guys. I know at the beginning of the week I was, I was so down. And I'm not going to say that I'm not missing Nathan, because I am. But I don't feel in such despair as what I was. Now I still think Wednesday is going to be hard, but I don't know how to explain it. I just feel a little bit better. Not perfect, but better. So that's a step in the right direction. So anyway, that's it for now. And thank you so much if you spent a week with me, if you didn't get sick of my depressing talk. And you stuck with me. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll talk to you again next week.